<laughs> All right, I'm about Can to. Can I be honest in the video? Yeah. No. Oh God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Hmm. Riding the Chevy, going low and slow. Six, seven, Impala on eighty four. Cruise control, baby, I know. Step on the gas, break dip, let's go. Are you ready? Are you filming now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. What's up? We're in Shindong. It's very noisy because we're in front of the market and we're trying four taco places around mostly the north side of Seoul over the Han River, but a, one place down in Shinsa. We got Riley again <laughs> and... And the hubby. So, uh... That's a raggy ass cat. No, he's cute, <laughs> Riley. Our first stop is La Cae. And it is street taco style. Actually, everything today is, but it's interesting because this one is in the middle of a traditional market and then it just pops up on you. So let's go. It see smells how like it tacos. Be. Oh, there it is. La Calle. It's busy. We just finished at La Calle. I mean, it was just a solid street taco. They grind their own corn to make the tortilla. It's a purple tortilla. That's my ideal one. I don't prefer flour. I think it's all very reasonably priced as well. A set of three was what, like 7,500? The locations are just very strange, but it's very unique. And the right. actual atmosphere is nice. But what did you right. think of the taste? Um, it tasted really good. Great. <laughs> but it does get kind of busy. We came at like around 12.30 and they open at 12 and it was already pretty full. So just keep that in mind, especially on the weekend. What did you think, Riley? Place was really good. I like the taco size because you can have like a lot of flavors and not get full. In terms of flavor, pretty good. Al Pastor is a little bit dry, but with some lime, salsa, you're golden. In terms of barbacoa, I think that's probably their best one. It's a little bit more juicy and tender. Agreed, everything he just said, perfect description. <laughs> and we are headed to Ujiro area to go to Oldies Tacos, which is probably gonna be freaking nuts at this time. We might have to wait a while. I knew it got busy, but I didn't know just how busy. You have to go to machine, get your number, and then there's a queue to go to the counter and order. So we are 13. And then after that, you have to queue again to wait for your food. So we are going to go get some coffee right now because it's going to be a while before we can even order. Acquired our coffee, headed back. Still waiting for five teams. It's been 20 minutes since we got our number. That is one thing about Oldies Tacos. It opens at noon. We got here at one. Just come when it opens. We acquired our Oldies Tacos. <laughs> We got two of the OG ones and one birria, so we're gonna go eat that before we head to Chungmuro Station. All right, I'm about Can to. Can I be honest in the video mm. or no? Mm. Oh, we have the same flavor. Mm. Mm. Mine's good. Really? Oh, yeah. I would say mine. It's not a bad taco. It's a good taco. What's wrong with it? Is it? I don't like the meat as much. It's more of like just like some gapsel. Like compared to the first one, it's pretty bad. I'm not a big fan of like, you know, store bought. Flour tortillas, yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And um, the meat itself, like like he said, you know, usually when you go to a taco place, there's like barbacoa meat, carnitas, al pastor, but it's like just grilled uh, meat with mm. without any seasoning. Plain. For me, like it's like I can't believe that I waited waited an hour for this. It's, you know, my <laughs> issue. Did you try a bite of the original? Mmm, this is juicy. You definitely got to get this one. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I would say Bria Taco Solid. Are you? 
Our number one so far is La Cae. Mm. And we're headed to Tumro. Are we going to the university? Anyway, we're going to take line four over we're to our next to a spot. Place. <laughs> yeah, we're going to a place. I'll tell you the name when we get there. We're at Samdakji Station and we're going to Matomi Tacos. None of us have ever been here and I discovered it through the expat group. So I have really high expectations for this one, as well as the next one, actually. Both of them were discovered through the expat group. Oh, this is so sad. They're doing an event. Oh, man. It's a sad day today. We cannot try a Matomi taco. So today there will only be three places that we try. But I'm definitely going to come back here sometime because I heard it's really, really good. We're going to have our last taco stop at Primo Tacos. I have really high hopes for this one. I'm really upset that the last place was closed because I think those two are probably going to be the top. We just left Primo. That out of the three we got to try today would be our return spot. Yeah. It's the most expensive of the three, mm -hmm. but price is worth it 100%. Yeah. yeah. You get what you pay for yeah. that place. The hamburger thing, what's it called? That was good. That surprised me because I've never bomb. I've never had something like that before yeah. where it's like a taco hamburger and it really did nail that flavor profile. I didn't expect that to be any better than the first place because mm. the first place was pretty solid, mm. but um, it was just like, perfection sorry we couldn't really talk while we were eating it's difficult with the music playing that's it for today we're gonna go hit up a cafe and chill it's been a long day, it's been a long day. <laughs> so we'll catch you in the next one adios Bye, folks.